welcome to youth empowerment foundation in today's video we are going to do mathematics foundation in which we will teach you module 1 number system this module is being presented by the cumulative work of prahash vankarwala harshita agrawal obula lokesh dhruv agrawal shweta shuren and yash prajapati under the guidance of साक्षी तिवारी विघ्नेश एंड शोभा मैम लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडे इज मॉड्यूल सो आर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज टॉल एंड शॉर्ट वी यूज द टर्म टॉल एंड शॉर्ट टू टॉक अबाउट हाइट दैट इज वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस डू यू ऑल नो वॉट इज वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस पुट योर हैंड्स अप नाउ द पोजिशन ऑफ योर हैंड्स tell you about the vertical distance let's see some of the example for tall and short now in the first picture who is tall the green one or the yellow t-shirt boy in the first picture the person in the green t-shirt is tall while the person in the yellow t-shirt is short Let's see an another example to clarify what is tall and what is short. Now, who is tall? A giraffe or a rabbit? The answer is the giraffe is tall while the rabbit is short. Now, can you all guess the tree is tall or the plant in the pot is short? Yes, you all are correct. The tree is the tall while the plant is short. Let's have a small practice exercise. Please identify the pictures. It is tall or short, the left one or the right one. In the picture A, the first flag post is tall or the second flag post is tall? Yes, the first flag post is tall. In the picture B, the first ladder is tall or the second ladder is tall? Yes the second ladder is tall while the first ladder is short In picture C which one is tall first or second Yes the first one is tall while the second one is short In picture D which house is tall and which house is short Yes you all are correct In picture D first house is tall whereas the second house is short Now let us move to our second topic that is long and short We use long and short to talk about length that is horizontal distance If I'll ask you all to make one hand distance to define this distance we use term long and short Long and short are the terms used when comparing the lengths of two objects. For example, if the length of object A is more than object B, we say that object A is long while the object B is short. Let's see few examples. In the first picture, the first rocket is long while the second rocket is short. Now let's look at the second example. The slide on the right is long while the slide on the left is short. Now let's look at the third example. Can you all identify that your pencil is short or long comparing to your neighbor's pencil? Okay. Now look at the picture on the board and the pencil on the top is long while the pencil on the bottom is short. Let's have an practice exercise. Look at the following object in the each of the four section a b c and d and identify long and short object in each section in the first block pencil first is long while pencil b is short in the picture b first eraser is short while second eraser is long can you all identify which scale is long first or second yes first scale is long while second ruler is short 
Now in picture D, can you all tell which color crayon is long and which color crayon is short? The green color crayon is long while the blue color crayon is short. Let's move to our third topic that is big and small. We use the term big and small to talk about the general size of something such as elephants are big while mice are small. Big and small are the terms used when comparing the height of two things or object. For example, if the size of an object A is more than object B, we say that object A is big while the object B is small. Let's look at few examples. In the first picture, elephant is big while the mouse is small. In the second example, we can clearly see that the ball on left is big while the ball on the right is small. Now in the third example, the bus is big while the car is small. Let's have a practice exercise. Identify the big and small object in each of the following section. Can you all tell in picture A? First object is big or the second object is small? Yes, the second object is big while the first object is small. In picture B, can you all tell picture 1 is small or figure 2 is small? Yes, figure 1 is small while figure 2 is big. Can you all identify a kettle is big or a cup plate is big? Yes, a kettle is big while the cup plate figure is small. In picture D, figure 1 is small or figure 2 is small? Yes. Figure 2 is small while figure 1 is big. Let's move to a sports concept that is less and more. Less and more are the terms used when comparing the number of objects or things in different groups. For example, if a box has 5 balls in it and a box B has 3 balls in it, we can say that box A has more balls and box B has less balls. Let's see some examples. In the first picture, we can see that the tree on left has more number of apples while the tree on right has less number of apples. Let's see second example. The joker on the left has more number of balloons while the joker on the right has less number of balloons. Now, which basket has more apples? The basket on left has more number of fruits while the Basket on right has less number of fruits. Now let's move towards a practice exercise. Find out more and less in each of the following. In figure A, Ram has more number of balloons or Shyam has more number of balloons. Yes, Shyam has more number of balloons. Can you all count and tell me how many balloons does Shyam have? Yes, Shyam has 6 balloons while Ram has only 2 balloons. In figure B, cupcakes are more or the cakes are more in number? Yes, cupcakes are more. Can you all count and tell me how many cupcakes are present in the figure? Yes, there are 12 cupcakes present in the figure while there are only 2 cakes present in the figure. In figure C, which box has more number of donuts? Yes, box A has 6 donuts while box B has only 3 donuts. Look towards figure D, which fish bowl has more number of fish? Yes, second fish bowl has more number of fishes. It was a fun exercise. Now let's move towards our fifth topic that is matching. Matching is an important early childhood mathematics skill that help in classification of object. Matching is identification of same or similar objects. We can do color matching, object matching or shapes matching. 
Let's see few of the examples. In the first picture, we can see that we have matched for colors. Yellow is matched with yellow color, red is matched with red color, and the blue color cap is matched with blue color cap. Let's see second example. In the second example, we can clearly see that we have matched the shapes. The apple shape is matched with the apple one. Banana shape is matched with the banana, and the circle shape is matched with the circle. Let's look another example. In the example three, we have matched for the size. The big oval is matched with the big oval, medium with the medium one, and the small oval with the small size oval. Let's have a practice exercise. Can you all match the following? Can you all tell me? that the figure number 1 that is green circle will be match with which of the figure on the right hand side yes the figure will be match from the sixth figure that is the last figure on the right hand side very good now who will tell me that the second figure that is blue in color will be matched with which of the figure on the right hand side Yes the figure will be matched with the second last figure that is blue in color Now the third figure that is a square in yellow color will be matched with Yes it will be matched with the fourth figure on the right hand side that is same yellow color square Now the fourth figure that is a kite in purple color will be matched with the first object in the right hand side now let's see which figure will be matched with the orange color plus sign yes the third figure on right hand side will be correct match of the orange color plus sign now a arrow in light blue color will be matched with the second object in the right hand row well done now since you have completed the previous all exercise we will move forward with playing with numbers do you all know what are digit numbers let's see digit refers to any one of 10 symbols that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 or 9 used to write numbers are you all sure that only these numbers are used to write numbers yes to form any digit number that is one digit number or two digit number or a 3 4 5 or 6 or a 100 digit number only these 10 symbols are used to write numbers can you all tell me one digit highest number yes 9 is a one digit highest number okay now let's move towards our second sub topic that is place value and expanded form a digit's position in a number and its resulting value is called a place value when we expand a number to show the value of each digit we are writing that number in expanded form now look at the figure on the board carefully let's take an example of a four digit number that is 7286 now place this digits from right hand side in the chart The six will come at unit place, that is ones. Eight will come at tens place. Two will come at hundreds place, and seven will come at thousand place. Now, if I ask you what is the place value of eight, then the place value of eight is tens. While we can write the same number in expanded form as seven thousand plus two hundred plus eighty plus six. according to the place value of the numbers now what is the place value of 7 the place value of 7 is 
थाउजेंड लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल वॉट इफ वी टेक अ बिग नंबर लेट्स सी ट्वेंटी फाइव लाख थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड टू प्लेस ऑल द डिजिट इन द टेबल टू एट वन प्लेस जीरो एट टेन प्लेस सेवन एट हंड्रेड प्लेस थ्री एट थाउजेंड प्लेस जीरो एट टेन थाउजेंड प्लेस फाइव एट लैक्स प्लेस एंड टू एट टेन लैक्स प्लेस नाउ वॉट इज द प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ डिजिट फाइव द फाइव इज एट लैक्स प्लेस सो द प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ डिजिट फाइव इज फाइव लैक नाउ हियर इज अ क्विक प्रैक्टिस शीट फॉर यू ऑल ड्रॉ आर टेबल एंड प्लेस ऑल द डिजिट A, B, C, D, and E. Write them in expanded form. Six hundred fifty-one. What is the expanded form you have written? So the answer for first question is six hundred plus fifty plus one. What is the place value of one? Yes. The place value of one is ones. Let's look at the answer of second question. Nine hundred, sorry, nine thousand eight hundred and forty-five. What is the expanded form you have written for answer two? Yes, nine thousand plus eight hundred plus forty plus five. Question number C. Sixty two thousand three hundred and fifty four. What is the expanded form you have written for answer C? Is it sixty thousand plus two thousand plus three hundred plus fifty plus four? Question D. One lakh fifty four thousand nine hundred and twenty three. What is the expanded form you have written for it? Is it One lakh fifty thousand four thousand plus nine hundred plus twenty plus three. Now let's move towards ordering number. Ordering number is putting number in a given order, either from least to greatest or greatest to least. For example, one, three, seven, nine, and eleven is listed from least to greatest. Where one is the least in the list provided to us, and eleven is the greatest number, and eleven nine seven three one is listed from greatest to least. Arranging from least to greatest is also known as ascending order, while arranging from greatest to least is also known as descending order. Let's see an example. Arrange the numbers. That is, five hundred thirty-six, three hundred sixty-five, and seven hundred twenty-five, from smallest to largest. Start from the hundred place. Three is the smallest number out of five three seven. Therefore, three hundred sixty-five is the smallest number. Seven is the large number between five and seven. Therefore. Seven hundred twenty-five is the largest number, so the sequence is two one three, and we will put three hundred sixty-five comma five hundred thirty-six comma seven hundred twenty-five from smallest to largest. Here is some practice exercise for you all. Put these number in order form from least to greatest. Five hundred thirty-six, one hundred twenty-six. And two hundred twenty-seven. Yes, the order is three, one, and two. The first number that is least is one hundred twenty-six. Second is two hundred twenty-seven, and the third is five hundred thirty-six. And in the second list, it is already arranged in least to greatest form. Let's look at another practice exercise. Put these number in order from greatest to least. The greatest number is 
फाइव थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी टू कॉमा टू हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड सॉरी टू थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड थ्री एंड द थर्ड दैट इज द इन द सेकेंड लिस्ट द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर इज फाइव थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी टू एंड द लीस्ट नंबर इज वन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द थर्ड प्रैक्टिस शीट कैन यू ऑल आइडेंटिफाई विच वन बिलोंग्स इन द मिडल फ्रॉम ऑप्शन ए बी सी एंड डी येस ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट बिकॉज वन थर्टी सिक्स इज ग्रेटर देन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड स्मॉलर टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स वाइल द ऑप्शन बी टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स इज सेम एज टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड ऑप्शन सी वन हंड्रेड टू इज अ स्मॉलर देन वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड थ्री हंड्रेड टू इज ग्रेटर देन टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स सो बी सी एंड डी कैन नॉट बी आर करेक्ट ऑप्शन हैंस ऑप्शन ए वन हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स greater than less than and equal to symbols the symbol used to represent greater than is and less than is if one value is larger than the other value we use greater than similarly if we want to represent one value is less than other value we use less than the equal sign is a mathematical symbol used to indicate equality The equal sign is placed between the things stated to be exactly equal or the same. Example: Think of the sign like the mouth of alligator. The alligator is greedy and always eats the larger number. Can you all tell fifty-eight is greater or twenty-five? Yes, fifty-eight is greater, and the greedy alligator will eat fifty-eight. Can you all tell? Twenty-five is less than fifty-eight. Yes, as fifty-eight is greater than twenty-five. Similarly, twenty-five is less than fifty-eight. So, where the mouth of alligator is seen, that number is greater, and where the tail of alligator is seen, that is smaller number. Let's have a practice exercise. Write in the symbols that make the problem true. Use alligator and tell me. In the first box, thirty-five is greater or fifty-two? Yes, fifty-two is greater. So the alligator will eat fifty-two number. Hence, thirty-five is less than fifty-two. In second, alligator will eat forty or seventy-four. Yes, the alligator will eat seventy-four. In the third box, forty-five or thirty, alligator will eat which number? Yes, the alligator will eat forty-five because forty-five is greater than thirty. In the fourth box, alligator will eat eighty-four. In the fifth box, alligator will eat sixty-four. In the sixth box, alligator will eat fifty-one. In the seventh box, alligator will eat. No, here alligator can't eat because forty-three will be equal to forty-three. Hence, we will place equal to sign here. In the eighth box, seventy-nine. In the ninth box, eight ninety-nine is greater or eighty-nine is greater? Yes, ninety-nine is greater than eighty-nine. In the tenth box, twenty-three is greater than twenty-two. In eleventh, sixty-six. Is less than seventy-seven. In twelfth, six is less than sixteen. In thirteen, ninety-eight is greater than eighty-nine, and in fourteenth, eighteen is equal to eighteen. In fifteenth, thirty is less than forty-nine. Now let's move further, and we will see ascending and descending order. We have already seen how to arrange number from least to greatest. and greatest to least ascending order means the process of arranging number from smallest to largest from left to right descending order means process of arranging number from largest to smallest from left to right 
वन टू थ्री फोर दिस इज द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर एंड फोर थ्री टू वन दिस इज द डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर नाउ राइट डाउन सम नंबर एंड अरेंज इट इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर ट्वेल्व इलेवन टेन नाइन एंड एट येस द करेक्ट ऑर्डर इज एट कॉमन नाइन कॉमन टेन कॉमन इलेवन कॉमन ट्वेल्व कैन यू ऑल राइट द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर लिस्ट इन टू अ डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर लिस्ट येस द करेक्ट सीक्वेंस विल बी ट्वेल्व कॉमन इलेवन कॉमन टेन कॉमन नाइन कॉमन एट Now let's have a practice exercise. In the first question, please arrange the following numbers in ascending order: thirty-four, comma sixty-seven, comma twenty-one, comma seven, comma ninety. What will be the correct ascending order for these numbers? Seven, comma twenty-one, comma thirty-four, comma sixty-seven, comma ninety. Now. Who have completed the second question? Yes, the correct ascending order will be three hundred sixty-nine, comma five hundred twelve, comma six hundred thirty-one, comma eight hundred seventy-four, comma nine hundred sixty-five. Now let's arrange the following numbers into descending order. Seventy-eight, comma eighty-seven, comma fifty-two, comma forty-five, comma ninety-six. What will be the correct descending order? Remember, you have to place the highest number or the greatest number first. Ninety-six, comma eighty-seven, comma seventy-eight, comma fifty-two, comma forty-five. Now, who have solved the second question? The correct answer is nine hundred eighty-seven, comma five hundred, comma three hundred sixty-two, comma three hundred forty-five, comma one hundred twenty-five. Well done. Now let's move further, and now we will see odd and even number. An even number is a number that can be divided into two equal groups. An odd number is a number that cannot be divided into two equal groups. Let's make it more easy. Even number ends in the two, comma four, comma six, comma eight, and zero, regardless of how many digits they have. We know the number five, nine one seven, six two four. Can you tell which number is even? Yes, six two four is even because it have four at its unit place. Odd number ends in one three five seven nine. So the even numbers end in zero two four six or eight, and the odd numbers end in. One three five seven nine. You can see any digit number, and if you find the unit digit as zero, two, four, six, and eight, the number is an even number. Now let's have an practice exercise. Classify the following numbers as even or odd numbers. Forty-five. Is this number even or odd? Yes, this number is odd. Sixty-five is an odd number. Eighty-seven is an odd number. Ninety-six, it is an even number because it ends with six. Twenty-five, it is an odd number. Forty-seven, it is an odd number. Three hundred, yes, three hundred is an even number because it ends with zero. Five hundred seventy-eight. Yes, this is also a even number. Six. Yes, if a number ends with six, it will be a even number. Now let's get back to our practice exercise. Nine hundred sixty-five. It is an odd number. Four hundred eighty-seven. It is an odd number. 
856. Yes, 856 is an even number because 6 is an even number. Let's move to our next topic that is successor and predecessor. Successor is a number that succeeds another number or comes after the given number. In other words, the successor of a given number is one more than previous number. Predecessor is a number that precedes another number or comes before the given number. In other words, the predecessor is of a given number is one less than the previous number. So what's the difference between successor and predecessor? 50 plus 1 that is 51. It is a successor of 50 and 50 minus 1 that is 49. It is a predecessor of 50. So 49 is predecessor and 51 is successor of 50. Let's look at few more examples. Can you all tell me what is the successor of 5? Yes, 5 plus 1 that is, is equals to 6. What is the predecessor of 5? 5 minus 1 that is 4 is the predecessor of 5. Now, what is the successor of 8? 8 plus 1 that is, is equals to 9 is the successor of 8. And 8 minus 1, that is 7, is the predecessor of 8. 15. 15 plus 1, that is equals to 16, is the successor of 15. And 15 minus 1, that is equals to 14, is the predecessor of 15. Now, find the successor of the following numbers. 12. What is the successor of 12? 13. What is the successor of 64? 65. What is the successor of 43? 44. What is the successor of 100? 101. Or 101. What is the successor of 981? Yes, 982 is the successor of 981. 345. What will be the successor of 345? Yes, 346 will be the successor of 345. Can you all tell me what will be the successor of 99? Yes, 100 will be the successor of 99. Now, find the predecessor of the following numbers. What will be the predecessor of 85? Yes, 85 minus 1, that is, is equals to 84, is the predecessor of 85. 51 will be the predecessor of 52. 46 will be the predecessor of 47. 683 will be the predecessor of 684. 474 will be the predecessor of 475. 250. 3 will be the predecessor of 254. Now let's move forward and see what are Roman numerals. Roman numerals are the numeral system that originated in ancient Rome and remained the usual way of writing numbers throughout Europe well into the late Middle Ages. Numbers in this system are represented by the combination of letters from the Latin alphabet. Now, write down how we will write 1, 2, 3, 4. The 1 is written as, 2 is written as, 3 is written as, 4 is written as, 5th is written as V, 6th is written as V and I, 7th is written as V and two eyes. Eighth is written as V and three eyes. Ninth is written as I and X. Tenth is written as X. Remember, one is written as single I. Five is written as V. Tenth is written as X. And if we will write I in Predecessor of X, it will be deal as 
1 minus x that is 1 minus 10 that will be equal to 9. If we will subtract 10 minus 1 that will be 9. So if we will write i and x it will be written as 10 minus 1 and it will denote 9. So 20 will be written as 2x like 10 plus 10. 50 will be written as L, 100 will be written as C, 500 will be written as D, and 1000 will be written as M. Now let's have a practice exercise. Read and write Roman numerals to 20. Please match your Roman numerals that you have written from the table provided here. Write the correct number next to each Roman numerals. First, that is 2i. So the 2i is, is equals to number 2. Second, v. v is, is equals to 5. Third, iv. Just now we have known that V is equals to 5 and if we write I just predecessor to V it will mean as 5 minus 1 that is equals to 4. So the correct answer for third question is 4. Now what is the answer for fourth that is X. X is equals to 10. Fifth 3I. What will be the answer for 3I's? Yes, the answer will be 3. 6. VI If we have written IV that is equals to 4 means 5 minus 1. And if we write I just as successor after V, it will be 5 plus 1 that is equals to 6. So what will be the answer for 7th? That is the XI. Yes, 10 plus 1 that is equals to 11. Now match all the remaining answers from the list provided on the board. Hope most of the answers were correct. Now we will move towards our next topic that is use of brackets. Mathematical brackets are symbols such as parentheses that are most often used to create groups or clarify the order that operations are to be done in an algebraic expression. Some bracket symbols, however, have multiple special use in mathematics. Some of the symbols are dash, vernacular or bar or line brackets, curved bracket. These are curly brackets or middle brackets or flower brackets or serpentine brackets or braces, circular brackets. These are round brackets or ordinary brackets or parentheses or small brackets or common brackets or simple brackets. Square brackets. These are square brackets or big brackets or rectangular or box brackets. Now what are the uses of these brackets? These brackets are used using a semonic board mass where the brackets are solved first. So, here in the example, 2 curly bracket 1 plus square bracket 4 curved bracket 2 plus 1 bracket close that is so curved bracket closed square bracket closed plus 3 and curly bracket closed. So, how will we solve this question? First, we will solve the curved bracket that is 2 plus 1. So, the answer will be 3. And the bracket symbol means multiply. So, in the next term, we will multiply 4 into 3. 4 3s are 12. So, 2 curly bracket 1 plus 12 plus 3. In the next step, we will solve the square brackets. So, 12 plus 3 is equals to 15. Since we already have a symbol present before the brackets here, 
the symbol that is present will be used and if there is no symbol present then only we will use multiply as a symbol so the next step will be 15 plus 1 so the answer is 16 now we will again use multiply symbol because there is no symbol present after 2 and before brackets so 2 into 16 is equals to 32 let's have a practice exercise please note down the following questions please match the answers Thank you everyone. Hope you all enjoyed today's session and you have learned some of new concepts. I will like to end the presentation from my famous quote from Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Thank you.